Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. And today, a little libation with my uh, cigar holding bourbon glass. And what we're looking at today is the uh, Monte Cristo Nicaraguan Series 1935 Anniversary Edition. All right, you seen a previous video when I got to the box opening of these. Ah, oh, smells so nice. It's that nice box pressed, you know, squared off looking cigar. Very beautiful, handsomely made. Finely packed. The draw, very nice. Doesn't feel plugged at all. And, uh, mm, windy. The dry draw is like earth tones. Little, little cocoa there. mustiness <laughs> it's what I'm getting guys you know this is you know if you have one of these I'm sure your palate's going to pick up different things I mean I'm not keen on every little nuance you know this is just me regular captain on the back deck smoking a stogie you know what I'm saying but yeah very nice taste on the draw all right let's get into it Of course, when you go to shoot a video, everything wants to be temperamental, right? Sounds like it needs a, a refill. Hopefully you get enough juice to light this thing on fire. I know it's going to be difficult <laughs> getting there. Here we go. Mm. One little inch of this isn't burnt. Almost had it. I want to get a nice uniform. You know what I'm saying? Nice uniform burn on it. Mm. Nice meaty cigar, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's big enough. I like this size because it's long enough to smoke. It's meaty enough in your mouth that, you know, you feel like you got something in your mouth, you know. You can chew on it. This is a definitely an after-dinner cigar. Very full-bodied. You know, if you don't... Uh, I had one of these on Friday night. I was going to shoot the video Friday night, but it's like Friday comes. I want to just sit back with a campfire, relax, you know, a couple drinks, you know, and not really want to... You know, I was tempted to do the video but I was like ah, I was my heart wasn't in it you know so now I mean doing an extra one this this week I really want to hold on to these cigars but uh, for the sake of video it's Sunday cheers mm. Mm. definitely accent each other the cigar is bringing out the caramely sweetness in the bourbon. This is Evan Williams bourbon, regular black label, by the way. <clears throat> and, um, yeah, it's bringing out the candy sweetness, the caramel notes, very sweet. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> Cat is going to be smooth sailing. Mmm, enjoying this, man. I don't do any retro hair or anything like that. I, I can't do it. <laughs> if I try doing that on camera, I'll probably choke and have an asphyxiation attack, you know? <laughs> so, no. No retro hailing is the captain going to do. Um, but, yeah, you have a nice... I mean, you have that nice oily wrapper. You know? I mean, it's just really really a, a beautiful uh, work of art. I mean... 
as you can see a nice even burn going going on there so far mm. as you can see the captain and the first mate is falling out so we got the the winter growth coming in and he's already got his his stash nice perfectly trimmed mustache um captain not so much <laughs> i just gotta let it grow in fill in all the gaps so don't mind me it's coming in by uh Eight months from now, when I'm about to shave it off in May, if I decide to shave, I don't know, we'll see. Uh, and then I'm down to here, you know. The sides I always trim, keep them short, but the sides here, but it just stinks that at 43 years old, I'm already like every year it's getting whiter and whiter. Uh, when I first started the beard, mid 30s, you know, late 30s growing it in. I never did it before and then I started, well, let me see what it looks like. It was nice and dark. Had a little gray just only in the front. Now everything that was like, you know, the Irish in me, bring, I had red hair in mixed with the black. So everything that was pretty much the red hair has turned gray <laughs> and the black is still like that salt and pepper look, you know, the, the dark look. But it is what it is. If I dye it, I'm going to look like, uh, like a Halloween guy, you know, <laughs> it'll be, be bad. It'll be so black that uh, I, I think it'll it'll just look, won't look right. So I'm just gonna keep it keep it natural. Hey, it is what it is, right? So, but uh, I digress on that. I, I really am enjoying the. This is like a special special cigar, you know. So I'm gonna hold on to these definitely because they taste very good. But they're they're full body too, and it will get to me if I don't eat. A nice meal, you know? So, I did eat today, but I don't know if it's enough to, to, to handle this. So, but we, we'll find out. But yeah, um, hope everybody's doing well. I'm watching everybody's YouTube uh, videos in the YTPC. Uh, oh yeah, this is smelling real good. Mmm. It pairs so well. Like if I were just to be having this without this, it's good, straight up. But the cigar and whatever it does to your palate really draws out the sweetness in the bourbon. Uh, you sometimes can get that with some ice. You got a little ice to it, it'll draw out a little more sweetness. But I don't like watering it down. I really don't. And I tend to, if I add ice, I tend to just chug it. And just what you're not supposed to do but you know with the coldness and stuff it just makes me just want to drink it quicker instead of sipping on it but this hmm get that oakiness you get that peatiness yeah that musty peatiness is there and um yeah, just that sweetness, man, on the first sip. And I love, I love, I love this glass. It's so neat how it does that. <laughs> perfect. Anything bigger, it doesn't work. That's just perfect, see? Anything bigger, this is, ooh, I forget. It's a Toro size. Um, but every Toro is different. I, I believe this might be 60 or 50-something, 50 56 maybe. I, I don't know, I have to look it up. But, uh. 60 inch won't fit in this arm. It might be a little too big. Where you only get the, the tip in shoved in there, you know? As you can see, nice even burn. Gray ash. Oh, yeah. A lot of smoke. Oh, yeah. So, if you guys get around to doing this, Thanks for coming along and smoking with me. And uh, yeah, it's just a lazy Sunday. Made some uh, southern cowboy beans or beans, whatever you want to call it. A little bit of salted pork, no ham, just salted pork. What did I put in there? Onion, garlic, that was it. My spices came out good, real nice. Uh, so I had a little bit of that earlier, just to taste it. And, um, 
Other than that, it's just not much going on. Um, on the brew front, as you know, I just kegged the, kegged the beer, so uh, probably this Wednesday, homebrew Wednesday, after work, I'll shoot um, the uh, tasting of the Pumpkin Ale 2023. Right now it's kind of cloudy, overcast. Not overcast. I mean, there's blue skies, but there's these big dark clouds overhead. Uh, when the sun comes out, it's nice and warm in the sun. You almost like you gotta take all the layers off because you, you start getting too hot. But then as soon as that cloud cover comes on, man, it's dropping. It's about 62, but it's like when it with that cloud cover. Look, I got flannel, my uh, M65, and. Uh, yeah, man, yeah, so broke this back out. So I'll be wearing this all winter. I didn't put the uh, inner layer in yet. It's not that cold yet, just with a nice flannel. And I, I'm fine. But yeah, soon I, I know I'll be putting in the, uh, the uh, inner the, the lining soon. Uh, I don't know. I'm starting to ramble, but whatever. <laughs> Hope you guys are enjoying a cigar or a pipe while you watch me smoke. You know, don't I don't want to do it alone. I mean, this is the way it is to do, you know, YouTube videos now. With us pipe smokers and cigar smokers. I mean, I used to go to the smoke shop and shoot the breeze with with, 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 with the old men and stuff. But uh, I don't really have a smoke shop anymore. And uh, just I don't have the time to do it really be honestly you know I have the kids on the weekend my wife works so to go to the smoke shop have a cigar and shoot the sh shoot the breeze if there was a smoke shop that was conducive to that which there is but I think you gotta be a club member in order to use the lounge or, you know how it is uh, there's always some sort of overhead or something you, you know $12 well back in the day it was the you know, $12 minimum purchase to use the lounge and I get it, you know. They just don't want you bringing your own stuff in. They want, you know, want to sell their products. Um, interesting enough. I don't know. This might be a little imperfection on this this band right here. So there's a little line going there. I don't know if it's cracking or not. Just a little line, but it's not. I don't think it's cracked yet. We'll see what happens when it gets to, gets there, but uh, see, it's perfect cigar, perfect draw, puff away, no uh, 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 hindrance at all on the draw. So that's a plus. That's a, that's a ten right there. And um, mm, yeah, I mean, I just don't have the time to, uh, like I said do it to get over to a smoke shop and enjoy you know a conversation with people so this is this is it when I when I'm done shooting this video I want to go on YouTube and uh, smoke with somebody that uh, shot a video maybe tunnel or uh, Miguel over there in Puerto Rico mm. whoever 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 I haven't watched yet today that has uh, uploaded and uh, yeah so uh, I guess I'm going to go, guys. You don't need to hear me keep on rambling. But uh, thanks for coming along with me. All right, guys. Uh, so, cheers. And until we do it again, my friends, remember, let's set sail. Uh,